Hey, Michelle from Vulture Magazine here with Matt Healy from the 1975. It's actually, it's actually Matty if we're going to do it properly. Okay, Matty, sorry. This is Matty from 1975, sorry, the 1975. And just so you know, things that did happen in 1975, I don't know if you know this, but it was International Women's Year launched in Britain. Sounds about right. Uh, Charlie Chaplin was knighted. Bill Gates began Microsoft. SNL premiered on TV and Victoria, this state, abolished capital punishment. So it was a positive year. That is good. I didn't know any of those things. Well, that's really shit. Don't you ever research your name? That's good. No, <laughs> our name has no relevance to the year whatsoever. <laughs> I know. I know, I know that the Watergate scandal happened then, yes. but that's about it. No, the Watergate scandal, like the, all the convictions were handed down that year. See, I studied. Look at this one. Hey. Okay, that's crazy. Okay, so how's the run of Big Day Out been for you and Australia's been shooting you really good, I hope? Really good. It's like a holiday, everyone's saying that, you know, you don't really, you've got like so many days off in between shows and we've just been, we've been working, like we've had like remixes to do and stuff, but it's all been in the sunshine and with nice food and pleasant people, so. Um, this remix business, when did that start? Because I heard the Cavalier remix, oh. James Vincent McMurray, I nearly had an orgasm. Oh, thank you very much. That's kind of the intention, I suppose. <laughs> I think, um, the re well, the remixing is very... Well, it's weird with our band because we were a band, a band band for so long. We kind of were band turned producers and then back to a band again. We produced all of our early EPs, we produced our album alongside with Mike Crossley, and I think production and, and techniques and the, that kind of thing, that's kind of what we do. And I think it's easy to express that when you've got so many, you know, peer, like cool peers, like James Vincent Memorio allowing us to do that, you know, it's, I think, the best voice around yeah. at the moment, so. Absolutely. Saw him live last week. Oh, I love him. A week before. Um, How's the Australian audience? Are we as crazy as the rest of the world? Are we as receptive as you'd hoped? Well, we're not as we're not as big over here as we are in the UK and America. And I've said quite a few times that it's been really nice. You know, it's refreshing. It's slightly more challenging. You have to kind of win people over a bit more. But the whole I don't know the whole 16 year old girl screaming thing is is seems to be. A, a, an international thing, yeah. totally globalised and homogenised are, are the 15 year olds of the planet now, I think. Are you okay with that? I'm, I'm over it. In a bad way? That sounds bad. It, it uh, initially is obviously very exciting and then it's, a, it's slightly distorting and, and, it, and it freaks you out a bit and now, you know, they're just, they're just girls. I've written a song about that. I should listen to myself. <laughs> So, okay, you know about your whole Tumblr fandom then, right? Yeah. Right. So there was actually a set of questions that someone has made up based on each one of your songs. So, so for example, the city. If you could fall in love in any city, what would it be and why? Um, it's got to be a, It's got to be London. London is, London is, the, I think, my favourite city in the world. Money. Have you ever taken drugs? Yes. S chocolate. Do you have a problem with authority? Yes. Sex, have you ever been with someone who already had a boyfriend, girlfriend? Yes. Talk, do you know someone who talks a lot of bullshit and doesn't stop? Me. Hard out, do you have feelings for someone and wish they were reciprocated? Yes. Ooh, settle down, have you ever had someone lead you on? Yes. Robbers, have you ever been hurt by someone over and over and kept giving them second chances? No. Smart. Girls, have you ever been with someone who wasn't what you needed? Yes. She way out. Have you ever been with someone who is way out of your league? It's got nothing to do with that and yes. <laughs> Menswear, do you hate weddings? No, I love weddings. It's it's a unification of two people, isn't it? It's a good thing, I think, weddings. Pressure, have you ever lied to someone because of the pressure in a social situation? Yes. Is there somebody who can watch you? Do you feel like you are responsible for a person who you love a lot? Very much so, as should everybody. Me, which is one of my favourite songs. Have you done anything which had bad consequences and hurt you or the other people? Of course I have. You want to elaborate? Not really. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Any Christ. Do you believe in God or wish you had a religion? I envy the faithful deeply. I, do. I don't wish I had a monotheistic religion. I, I'm, I'm very, I don't believe in God now, unfortunately. I do, I do wish I kind of did. I... Well, no, I don't wish that I did, but, you know, I envy the faithful. I envy those who 
it's as simple as that for them, you know. I kind of envy that mentality, but no, unfortunately, kids, God doesn't exist. He's not there. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, a couple more. Woman, have you ever met someone once and fell in love with them at the moment? Yes, uh, probably once a week. Milk, do you need to do drugs and alcohol to have a good time at a party? Yeah. Oh, the last one. Intro, set three. Do you feel like you are left behind when everyone is further ahead in life? No. That was a song about other people feeling that about us. Well, there you have it. Matt Healy, Maddie from the 1975. And Vulture wants to give you some presents oh, cool. because Australia Day is coming. Okay. Oh, it is Australia Day soon. Happy Australia Day. Yay, on Sunday is. when you're at the shot big day glass. out. Right, there we okay, go. so Aussie bloke so shot glasses. So okay. it's got like little sayings. Have we got sayings. anything for me to do a shot of? Well, no. We don't, unfortunately. What are these? Australian sunglasses and headbands, so... Well, these are, these are colourful, so I'm not happy about that. Well, there wasn't any black ones. We're green and gold. There you Thank go. You. Holy shit. Bye.